Ever wondered how pros like Peterbot get lightning fast edits and zero input delay? In this video, I'll show you his exact secret settings plus powerful system tweaks that boost your FPS and responsiveness in Fortnite. Stick around, you don't want to miss this. Before we dive into Peterbot's exact settings, let's quickly cover a powerful trick that many pros, including Peterbot himself, use to get zero input delay while gaming. Start by opening the registry editor, just type regedit in the Windows search bar, then right click on it and select run as administrator to make sure you have full access. Once it's open, head to the registry path I've included in the video description. Simply copy and paste it into the address bar at the top of the registry editor window and press enter. This will instantly take you to the folder we need. Inside, locate the key called Keyboard Data Queue Size and double click on it. By default, this value is usually set to 100 in hexadecimal, which means Windows queues up to 100 keystrokes before processing them. While that's okay for normal use, in fast paced games like Fortnite, it can add unwanted input delay. To reduce that delay, lower the number. A good starting point is 65, which makes keystrokes register faster and more directly. You can test values step by step like 95, 90, 85 and so on until you find the smoothest response without missing inputs. Just make sure the value format stays on hexadecimal, then hit OK to save the change. Once applied, this tweak alone can make your inputs feel much tighter, perfect for quick edits, precise building and overall smoother gameplay in Fortnite. Now it's time to take your Fortnite optimization to the next level with the ultimate Fortnite FPS boost pack. This pack is carefully designed to fine tune your Windows system for smoother, more stable gameplay. You can download it directly from my website, the link is in the description below. Once you've downloaded the pack, start by launching the MSI Utility Tool. Right click the app and select Run as Administrator to give it full access. When it opens, you'll see a list of all the hardware devices that support message signaled interrupts, MSI. First, find your network adapter in the list and set its priority to high. This helps improve your online performance and reduce packet delay. Then, locate your GPU, do the same, and also set its priority to high for better graphics responsiveness. After adjusting both, check the boxes next to each device to enable MSI mode, then hit apply to save your changes. Finally, restart your PC so everything takes effect. This tweak reduces system latency and helps deliver a more responsive and smoother Fortnite experience. As always, it's smart to create a backup before applying system level changes, just to stay safe. Next, go ahead and install Memreduct, a lightweight tool that helps free up system memory in real time. Once installed, open the program and you'll see a clean interface showing your current RAM usage. At the bottom, there's a button called Clear Memory. Just click it and the tool will immediately free up unused memory that's been sitting idle in the background. You can use this feature anytime your system starts feeling slow or when you're about to launch Fortnite. It's a fast, one-click way to keep your PC running smoothly without needing a reboot or digging through complicated settings. To fully unlock your CPU's potential, install Park Control, one of the most powerful tools for maximizing processor performance. After installation, open the app and choose the Bitsum Highest Performance Power Profile. Then, turn off CPU parking and frequency scaling for both AC and DC power by setting them all to 100%. This ensures your CPU stays fully active and responsive during heavy workloads like gaming. Once that's done, enable Bitsum Dynamic Boost. This feature intelligently manages your CPU, keeping things efficient during light use, like browsing, but instantly activating all threads when you start playing or running demanding apps. Don't forget to go into the Power Options tab, select the Bitsum Highest Performance Plan and click Make Active, followed by Apply to confirm everything. With this tweak, your CPU will deliver its full strength, giving you smoother performance, fewer stutters, and higher, more stable FPS during Fortnite matches. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. 
To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Let's talk about PeterBot settings. PeterBot's secret settings give him a clear edge and every competitive player should know them. Starting with display preferences, PeterBot plays in windowed full screen mode, a popular choice for its balance between performance and stability. But what really sets him apart is his custom resolution. For a long time he played on 1720x1080, a stretch resolution that many pros favoured for its wider player models. However, since Chapter 6 introduced more accurate hitscan mechanics, he recently switched to 1750x1080 to better align with the new shooting dynamics while still keeping that stretched advantage. Even though PeterBot owns a 360Hz monitor, he locks his FPS to 240, perfectly matching the 240Hz refresh rate. Why? Because most official Fortnite LAN events use 240Hz monitors, and practicing on this standard ensures he's always tournament ready. Sticking with these settings helps him stay sharp and consistent when it really counts. For rendering mode, PeterBot chooses performance mode, and for good reason. It dramatically increases frame rates and simplifies the visual environment, making enemies and builds easier to spot. Alongside this, he sets meshes to low, which not only boosts FPS but also removes extra clutter like debris and unnecessary textures that can be distracting during fights. When it comes to visibility, he turns his brightness all the way up to 150%. This gives him an advantage when looking through the storm or spotting enemies in darker areas of the map. Interestingly, PeterBot does not use any colorblind settings as he prefers Fortnite's natural look and finds it easier to track enemies without color filters. His view distance is set to far, allowing him to see buildings, structures and loot from farther away. This doesn't increase enemy visibility range due to the in-game limit of around 280 meters but it does help him make smarter decisions about rotations and fights. For textures, he keeps them on low, prioritising stable FPS and smoother performance over flashy visuals. In terms of gameplay mechanics, he disables pre-edits and enables auto-confirm edit on release. This makes his building and editing actions faster and more efficient, crucial for high-speed battles. He also avoids the new simple edit settings, since they're banned in competitive play, keeping his setup tournament legal at all times. PeterBot's HUD settings are fairly standard, with a HUD scale of 75%, just enough to see all important info without blocking too much screen space. For audio, he keeps the quality high, disables 3D audio, but enables visual sound effects, which allow him to visually detect footsteps, gunshots, and other key sounds on screen, a massive advantage when tracking enemies through walls or buildings. Finally, for mouse settings, PeterBot uses a highly refined setup, his X and Y sensitivities are both at 6.4%, with targeting and scope sensitivity at 45%. He sticks with 100% for both building and editing sensitivity, avoiding any artificial speed boosts. Combined with his 800 DPI mouse setting and 1000 Hz polling rate, this setup delivers fast yet precise aim with almost zero input delay. Ideal for landing clean shots and building under pressure. That wraps up today's video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content.